So Frankenstein, um, which is written in the early years of the 19th century in the sort of height of romanticism, um, is set in the late 18th century um, and has a lot to say about the nature of knowledge and particularly of science. Um, we remember that the um, enlightenment in a way is the beginning of modern science as we know it. Uh, the rejection of authority for its own sake in favor of um, uh, eyewitness investigation um, and logic and reason um, and um, the individual as the seeker after truth as opposed to institutions uh, demanding uh, their truth to be what is accepted. But at the same time, uh, the heritage of the individual seeker after truth and what it means to, um, to be somebody single-mindedly finding out t the truth of things regardless of what other people say, um, uh, and against, operating against authority in your search for uh, knowledge is, uh, the fear of that is deeply embedded um, in Western culture. For example, this, the myth of Icarus, uh, the young Icarus, and so delighted with um, the wings that his clever father has um, created for him, uh, flies too close to the sun, that is, and the max, wax in them melts, and uh, he falls to the earth. Um, so the idea of uh, striving beyond the normal human bounds is one of the recurrent themes in, in myths about the fear of knowledge. But, of course, the, the myth that Mary Shelley calls to our attention is that of Prometheus. The heroic benefactor who searches after knowledge ends up being destroyed by it or being tortured um, for his um, uh, sacrifice for the well-being of other people. So this is certainly the way Frankenstein sees himself as uh, somebody who is trying to improve the human race, um, make a better world uh, with better creatures in it, um, make creatures who are not subject to death and suffering. Life and death, he says, appear to me ideal bounds which I should first break through and pour a torrent of light into our dark world. A new species would bless me as its creator and source. No father could claim the gratitude of his child so completely as I should deserve theirs. So there is Frankenstein speaking as the benefactor, the benefactor of a new race who would have only light and no darkness in their lives um, and would love him therefore and feel tremendous gratitude toward him. So there is a danger to being heroic at the same time. And, and of course, if you think that um, uh, Percy Shelley uh, and Byron and uh, all the rest of the romantics saw their activity as quasi-scientific um, and also as a heroic adventure, remember that Byron uh, died in battle in, in Greece, you know, uh, fighting for a war of, of independence. They, they saw themselves as adventurers and heroes and, um, um, and, um, and inventors um, and discoverers and all those uh, kinds of heroic activities. Um, so, is Mary Shelley really saying that uh, we should all stay home and, uh, and mind our business and, and not push the boundaries too much? It's, it's very hard um, to know this at, uh, from the book, and especially it seems completely unlikely that she would ever say anything so single-minded as that, and yet quotation after quotation in the book can be found saying something like that.